In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a fairly inexpensive notebook into a fancy looking one just by adding some hardcovers. Composition notebooks tend to range from about 10 cents to a dollar, and just by adding some custom covers, it can really make the notebook look a little more expensive. This method is not hard to do, and you can find all of the supplies I use in the video description below. I'm going to start out with a standard composition notebook, and for the hardcovers, I'm using chipboard. If you don't know where to find board for book projects, check out this video here and it will show you some sources where you can find the board and also some things you can recycle. To add some design to the covers, I'm going to wrap them in this cardstock paper, but you can also choose to leave the board blank. The spine of the composition book is already protected pretty well, so I'm going to leave that alone. But if you want to add some design to that as well, you can try wrapping it in decorative tape. With the spine hanging over, I'm going to trace the cover size onto the board. Then trim it out, and trim the round corners. I'm then going to use that as a template to make the other cover. And follow the same steps to trim that one out as well. Now to glue the cardstock paper onto the cover boards, you can try an acid-free, extra-strength glue stick which prevents warping but it dries fast. Or you can try a liquid craft glue that is made for paper. I tend to use this when I have a large surface to cover because it takes longer to dry, but it can cause a little warping, and I will show you how to prevent that later on. Apply the glue to the cover board, and just spread it out with a glue brush. Then place that onto the cover paper. Make sure you have it facing the direction you want it. Then gently smooth over the front to get rid of any air bubbles. Then trim a border of paper around the cover board that is about an inch or more. On the 90 degree angles, trim the ends like this and leave a little gap on the very tip. And trim on the round corners like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then make multiple cuts on the round corner, leaving a little gap of paper toward the end of the board. And repeat these steps on all of the corners. Then put some glue on the flaps and fold them over. For the round corners, put a little glue on and fold the flaps over. And just keep in mind, this doesn't have to be perfect because you won't be able to see this side at all. It'll be glued to the cover, so it's okay to be messy. And just roll the corner to press down the edges. For the angled corners, here's that little gap that you left and that will be folded as you glue on the flaps to cover the very tip. Just continue on gluing down the flaps. And repeat all of these steps on the other cover. Then grab your composition book. You can add some scrap paper underneath the cover for the messy glue. Then add some glue to the middle of the board. Then to the edge of the composition book cover. And don't forget to add some glue to the edge that goes toward the spine. Then line it up and press it down. Repeat this step on the other side. Now to prevent warping, you can put a piece of paper down and that will actually absorb the moisture from the glue. Then if you want to prevent warping on the inside pages, you can put a piece of wax paper between the cover and the pages. This will just block some of the moisture from the glue. And I'm just doing the same process on the other cover. If you're using a glue stick, you don't have to do this step because there isn't much moisture from the glue. Put some weight on the book so that it dries flat. After it's dry, then you have a fancy new composition book that is now a hardcover book. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, click that like button, and I'd love to see any project pictures you want to share on my social links. For more DIY projects just like this, subscribe and go check out my channel, Sea Lemon. You can also check out some similar videos right here. Don't forget to check out the description below for more information and links. I'm curious to know, what do you guys put in your notebook? Do you just take notes for class, or do you maybe doodle all over the pages? Let me know in the comments below.